welcome back. It's me, T. Wine with T. Thanks for coming over here, hanging with me. Welcome to another day, y'all. I'm going to toast to myself. This is a Pinot Grigio Rosé, and I'm finishing up my last little bit of that stir fry from the other day. Why am I toasting to myself? Because round one of my reports have been submitted and now I'm just waiting for quality assurance to send them back to me. Prayerfully, I have nothing that I need to fix. So there's that. But I just wanna welcome all the new subbies. I wanna to continue to thank, thank, thank all of you for spending time watching my videos because you could do anything else in that moment but you chose to watch my video. Um, what are we doing? Trying to get our life together. Over here, we like to have lots of wine, hence the bottle. Good food, hence the bowl of food. Uh, cigars, I haven't had one in a while, but I like those too. And if you like one, girl, take your shoes off, grab a seat outside with a cigar with me, and let's just chop it up for a little while. I want to thank y'all for coming back. Remember to like, like, comment, and subscribe. Drop down in them comments. Give me any feedback. Give me some ideas. Let's just talk. I hope that this Vlogtober so far has um, been interesting to you and been of value to you. Whether it be by a recipe, somewhere I went, something I said, something I did. I just want to be valued to you. I want these videos to be of value to you if it's just entertainment that's something too so i just want to thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all for being over here because like i said you could be anywhere else but you chose to sit down and watch this little virginia born and raised chick on this old youtube so what are we doing today i need to get a bite of my food first today i have a sink full of apples from yesterday at the um farm and i put them in the sink with let me show y'all i put them in the sink let me get a bite to eat because i'm hungry with um some white vinegar so sometimes i use baking soda but i just pour white vinegar in here with the apples and you can kind of see some residue at the bottom of the sink from the apples only there's like four four in here that are not from the farm. The rest of them are from for the from the farm. And in a minute, I'm gonna put my um, little doohickey that I got from Timu in there to um, cleanse the fruit even more. Yep. So I'm gonna make those. And then for dinner, I'm gonna do. Um, I think I showed y'all that big old salmon piece of salmon that I got. I like the kind. I like the steelhead trout. My parents got me hooked on that. It's kind of like salmon, but better. Um, oh, and this is the white vinegar. I just use regular Dollar Tree white vinegar, but I'm going to do that salmon, some white rice. Yes, rice again, because my husband can eat rice every single day. Um, white rice, salmon, and probably broccoli, because that's another thing he'll eat daily is broccoli. Well, he'll eat it nine times out of ten. Um, what he ain't going to eat is no leafy greens, child, unless it's spinach or lettuce. And lettuce does not hold any type of nutritional value. So I'm going to do that, make these candy apples, and um, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be today. It might be a quick cook with me, cook dinner with me, and make dessert with me. A fall favorite, candied apples. Well, mine are candy apple slices, but you get my drift. All right, so I'm getting ready to take my, um, take the top off. Okay, that took two. Why did that score out like that? It was not supposed to do that. I didn't. Oh, I know why I did that. All right, so typically my sparkling wines do not explode on me, but the bottle had been shaken, shaking up. Is that the right? Did I say that right? Either way, we about to drink some. Because I deserve, y'all remember um that Love and Hip Hop episode when um, Mama D was like, I deserve, I deserve, I deserve, and that's how she sounded. You deserve to be quiet because you sound crazy. Um, 
but yeah. So we're gonna have this Pinot Grigio Rosé that I picked up from Little. 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 Um, serve at 43 to 46 degrees. Fattering height, which this is because it's been in the wine chiller. Um, it's an Italian wine. It's Alini is the brand. And of course, the varietal, like I said, is um, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Grigio Rosé. It's a Spumante sparkling wine, 2021 vintage. And it's 11.5% alcohol by volume. Now, here's my here was my original thought. My original thought was to make a cocktail with the sparkling wine and tequila. I don't feel like doing that. I don't even feel like it. So right now, we're going to say cheers to me for completing the reports and sending them on for round one. All right. Oops. Cheers. Let's see what we're smelling. You can smell it. Mm. Strawberries. Lime. Does it have any tasting notes or in the bottle? And the bottle doesn't have any tasting notes and it doesn't have any um, notes that you would have on your um, on your nose. But I'm definitely, this is a chilled one, so therefore hold it by the stem. Yeah, I'm getting just strawberries, like lime, cherries, red fruit. Yeah, that citrus is coming from the Pinot Grigio for sure. Let's try it and see. Ooh, make you want to dance. Okay, so it is tart. Um, lots and lots of citrus on the palate, like a ton of citrus. I don't even get anything else other than citrus. Yeah, it's full of citrus. Very dry. So if you don't like dry wines, don't pick this one up from Lidl. Is my thing charged yet? Whoops. So this is the little... Um, device that I got to sanitize my fruits and vegetables and once you put it in the water let me see if I hopefully I can catch it once you put it in the water it begins to sanitize the water so I'll put it in and then I'll probably move it around a little bit um, like I normally just move it around a little bit to move the fruits and vegetables around to sanitize the whole lot of them you know what I just thought of um, I want to try something. All right, so I have a slice of my lemon um, cake left. Girl, what is 890 calories in one slice of cake? Jesus, take the wheel and my fat cells while you're at it. So we're not going to eat this whole slice, but I want to try it with um, the wine to see you know how it will pair with it I'm telling y'all if y'all have not tried the coker coker <laughs> croker lemon pound cake I implore you I implore you to try it all right so let's get some of that good old icing so we're gonna try this lemon cake and this pinot. Mmm. Okay. Might have just did something there. So I'm not sure if it's the icing or the cake itself, but it makes the wine less bitter. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So it pairs well with a good dessert. So that's something for you. If you don't really care for this particular dry wine, I suggest trying it with a dessert. 
because this goes well together. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. I know it's more words in the middle, but I just didn't do them. I will show y'all this nice size piece of fish though. It is huge. That's a decent size piece of fish for the two of us. Just, and it's already um, portioned out. Can you see it? Where it's already? It should be four slices. Yep. It already has, it's already been portioned out into four slices. So that's good. So I just need to, oh, they didn't cut it all the way through down to, through to the skin, but I'm gonna take the skin off anyway. I, I really appreciate y'all because y'all don't know what it means to me. Mm. That y'all are here watching. It just means so much to me. Please don't leave. My favorite part coming. Watch this drum break down. Gonna put some lemon on the fish. You can see all the dirt that's coming off of the fruit. Watch this. All right, so it's uh the recipe is one pack of the red um candy mix that's in the back in the box and two and a half cups of sugar sugar i poured it in here to mix it up i didn't need to do all that but i'm just extra so i'm gonna put it in this pot and then i'm gonna add a cup of water so i got a cup of water add it back Alexa, pause. All right, let's see. Mix contents of enclosed bag with water and sugar in two quart saucepan. Bring to boil. No stirring required. No stirring required. I don't know if I like that part because I feel like all this sugar is at the bottom of my pan. But I'm gonna follow the directions. So let's put the pan on. Let's get out our candy thermometer, which is here. And it says that cook candy syrup to the hard crack stage, which is about 302 degrees um, Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer. Cook time is approximately 15 to 18 minutes to from um, boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry the apples and um dry the outside of the apples i'm so amazed at this thing it is still um it's still cleaning the fruits and vegetables off i mean the fruits off the apples off which is absolutely so amazing i know i already showed y'all once but all of this wax that's being removed is from the store-bought apples that's my thought because the apples that were you know that we picked from the trees i don't think that they would have i know they didn't have wax on them and it couldn't have been that dirty. So I'm just gonna use a small cutting board and cut the apples. And then I'll show y'all. Um, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna use my apple slicer to make it easy on myself. Let's see, what apples do I wanna use? I wanna use this one. I need to dry them off first though. I'm gonna get two paper towel. Two paper towel. And I need to put them on a butter, buttery pan, right? Yeah. While syrup is cooking, put sticks in up to 10 apples. Lightly grease a cookie sheet. When syrup is ready, remove from heat and dip apples. Store candy apples in a cool, dry place. Do not refrigerate. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take the core out of this apple. I love an apple corer. If you don't have one, what you waiting for? Go get one. It just makes life so much easier. All right. So I'm not going to keep y'all up here while I slice all these apples. 
um, and dry them. But I'm gonna just show you what I have so far. It cuts it into eight slices. So that's my one. I wish I had some short skewers. I have skewers, but they are regular. They're super long, so I don't know. That, that's making me nervous that I can't <laughs> stir that mix. But it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm probably gonna have a lot of um, apple mix left. Let's see, is this gonna even work? I'm gonna do it that way. I wanted to do it the long way, but I can't because these are dull on the end. So if I had skewers, I could put them in that way. But guess what? They're gonna be edible either way. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, come on, fresh apple from the tree. Do I have more popsicle sticks? I think I have more popsicle sticks. I was trying to see how long, like if I could reheat this up um, and reuse, you know, what I have but I don't know. So let me go ahead and grease this pan. It looks like it needs to be stirred. Mm. It dawned on me that the nurse, no stirring part is probably so that it does not stick to your utensil. Maybe, I don't know. I probably just made that up myself because I, I need a reason in my mind why I can't stir, why I can't stir the mixture. And the light, coating of butter and I'm just spreading it around and I need to check the temperature of this candy I feel like it hasn't been long enough but my soul wants to check it. Did y'all watch The Burial? It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it like I watched it twice. All right so it says here 15-18 minutes from boil so or 302 degrees Fahrenheit. I just got butter on my hand. Let's go over here and see. All right, so there we have it. And it's just at 200 degrees. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can even see that. I'm like, I really want this to, I want this to hurry up and get over there. But clearly it's not at 302 degrees. And I know nothing is wrong with my thermometer. Let's see if I stand it up. Ooh, that steam on my hand. Uh-uh. Nah, baby. We ain't doing that. Uh-uh. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, and my mixture is... I feel like my mixture is starting to stick some, so I'm just going to go ahead and dip these and sit them on the pan. Um, And my candy thermometer fell inside the pot. Can anything else in this kitchen be um off today? Huh? So let's see if I can show y'all me dipping the apples. First one, I don't think I dipped it enough. dipping them late enough in the cooling phase of the candy mixture so I am re-dipping my apple slices um, to get them coated one more good time and let me show you this one is a much better coating much better still not sticking to the whole thing I don't think oh got it y'all remember to like comment share subscribe thank you again for coming by tonight Dipping these apple slices, take the salmon out, and I'm gonna chill for the rest of the evening. Love you guys. See you later.